Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a brand new speed build, this time doing a large suburban house. Surprise, surprise. Now before I get stuck into the build, I just wanna let you know, because I did say in the last video that my next build would be a collaboration. Don't worry, it is coming, it's, there's just a slight delay on it, so I thought, I'm just gonna sneak in a little or not so little build just before you know we upload the collaboration. So I was thinking this week about what I wanted to build and there's this spot in Brindleton Bay and it's at the very top of the map and it has some really beautiful sort of views and I thought a craftsman style house would be like the perfect type of build for that spot so this is what I came up with. Now I did go and put my own spin on this build as well, you know, I added a lot of turrets into this build and that's why it's a five bed, seven bathroom build because each one of those turrets has got a bathroom in it. <laughs> I was trying to think of something that I could put into these turrets and I thought the best thing to do is just put a load of toilets and bathrooms in them because you know your sims need the toilet quite a lot of the time and I never really go mad with bathrooms so I thought I'm just going to throw a load in there. So this is Appleby Lane, it's like I say a five bed seven bathroom build and it's built on the 40 by 40 lot in Brindleton Bay and it comes in at just less than 268,000 simoleons. So again it's not a cheap build, none of my builds are ever cheap builds, <laughs> they're always really expensive. Um, so no expenses spared, it's just a full on family type of home. Um, I decided to go with this sort of red theme for the outside because a lot of the buildings around Brindleton Bay on this side are like the old kind of American farmhouse style builds and they've all got this kind of like red wooden cladding on the outside and it it is my absolute favourite colour anyway, as you know. Um, so it was just a perfect excuse really to use this colour combination. Um, but I did really like it. I really like the way that it turned out and um, I had a lot of fun building this one. So I think the thing that I love the most about this build was the shape of it and I just kept adding and changing lots of bits about the outside to make it a bit more of a complex shape as opposed to maybe some of the more recent suburban builds I've done. Um, the only thing is... I did experience a glitch when I was doing the landscaping on this build. So I decided to do the terrain and you know me, I quite like to do sort of the terrain in swirly patterns and I don't always use floor tiles for the outside. So I did this really complex sort of nice terrain sort of paint around the house and I did lots of shading and things like that. And then I came to move a sim into the house and the entire terrain disappeared. And I was absolutely mortified. I'd spent so much time on this terrain and I was like, you know what? I can't afford for that to happen again. So I decided to just rework the entire sort of floor and terrain on the outside of the build so you'll see me do quite a bit of the landscaping but then you'll see it swap part way through and you know the whole flooring will be completely different um, so I have experienced that glitch before it's just one of those things there's not a lot you can do about it you've just got to kind of like lump it and just get on with it so I played safe and I did actually put down some tiling on the floor instead but yeah, at the moment, I'm just sort of finishing off the outside of the build, adding all the sort of finer details into it before moving now onto the landscaping. So as always, I added lots of skill building items into the outside of the house. We've got some planters at the front of the house. They're like the smaller planters, like the little tubs. And we've also got lots of planters around the side of the house as well, uh, which are the bigger ones. And we've got some swings in the back garden, a barbecue and seating area. We've got the chess table that's on the porch, the beekeeping boxes. I do tend to go quite all out with the activities and skill building items on the outside as you know because landscaping is my favorite thing to do I love doing the exterior of the house and the landscaping so I always make sure the sims have got plenty to do and this house has 
definitely got loads to do what i will say though is i didn't add in a pool in this particular build i did initially add one in but it didn't feel like there was quite enough room to fit a decent size one in after i'd done a load of landscaping so i decided to remove it out and obviously you know spend a bit more time on the landscaping and uh, filling it with lots of different skill building items instead However, obviously, if you did want to change things up and add in a pool, then there's certainly plenty of room to do it. It's entirely up to you what you choose to do. So I did actually say that I would be doing some smaller builds and I've certainly been asked um, quite a lot on the channel if I can do some smaller builds. So I can assure you that this is my last big build for a few days. <laughs> that's it just a few days <laughs> i think the next build that i do after the collaboration will be or it'll be the next one that i work on now will be a, a kind of smaller build um i will look at doing some i know i got some requests for like a one level home and they're actually my favorite types of homes to play in and i don't really like just one story houses i kind of like one story houses that look like they're two story from the outside if that makes sense so they're much bigger looking but actually when you get inside it is just all on one level so I'm gonna have a look and, and get some ideas together and see if I can come up with some um probably smaller builds with that respect and then some bigger ones as well so everyone's got a variety but as you can see at the moment I am working on some of the landscaping and I did kind of cut quite a bit of it out. I tried to include like the main placements of items um, but ultimately I did spend a lot of the time on the terrain and it all disappeared. So I did actually cut straight back to after I'd completed it using floor tiles. But at the minute I'm just lining the hedge with these like other hedges. <laughs> they're like the rose colored ones and they're really quite sweet and I actually used this technique a really long time ago in a 100 baby challenge uh, speed build house that I did and I forgot all about them and they are quite easy to overlook because of where they're placed in the sims catalog so I thought they'd look really nice obviously with the exterior of the house being red to add in some nice roses Um, you know me I like to change up the fences I can't just have a normal fence it has to be spruced up in some way so but yeah you can see at the back here now I've changed over and that is actually the floor tiles around the back I'm sort of quite glad it happened I'm not gonna lie I was a bit frustrated at the time but I am quite glad because the floor tiling and how it looked in the end I was actually you know, I was really pleased with, I thought it looked a lot better in the end. Um, but I'm moving on to the interior now, and this is the kitchen. I thought it'd be really nice to go for sort of a red kitchen and then I decided to change my mind <laughs> and I changed it all up and went for this sort of like grey colour but I'd say this kitchen was fairly modern I'd say it was probably a little bit too modern than what I really wanted it to be at one point I went to change up the actual kitchen cabinets to sort of de-modern modernize it if that's even a word demodernize um but i did decided just to leave it in the end because it was a pretty smart kitchen um and the rest of the house i wouldn't say there was a particular theme it's not really traditional or modern um it's just just kind of homely i use that word a lot in my videos <laughs> but just kind of like a nice cozy family home now obviously we've just had a free update this week and we've had lots of new items and I'm really happy about those so I'm pleased to tell you that I did use a fair few of those objects in this build. Um, I did actually sneakily use them in the last build as well. I don't know if anybody noticed from the build if you downloaded it but I did actually go ahead um, when I was doing the last speed build. I We got the update as I was finishing the speed build so I added a few bits in sneakily. <laughs> but yeah I did go ahead and use the new plant which I absolutely love and this new coffee table as well which comes in some nice swatches Um, I mean we're always happy to have new content especially especially when it's free <laughs> so yeah I did try my very hardest in this room to use this wallpaper but I struggled 
And I think it's just because if I did kind of like a themed house, like say it was a villa or I'd done maybe an apartment dedicated to this sort of Caribbean style look, it would have worked. But the more I looked back on it, even though I liked the room, I just didn't feel like obviously after doing quite a modern kitchen and things like that, that it sort of went so well, but I didn't want to not use it. So as you can see here, I decided to change up the colors completely and go for this sort of like grayish tone. And I really like that particular swatch of wallpaper. I do think that is really lovely. So I'd say overall the tones for this house are really quite nice and light and breezy. They're not really dark or anything like that. It's just a nice bright family home. Um, I didn't actually include the speed in the speed build any of the bathrooms and that's because quite a lot of them like I said at the beginning were in these turrets and the turrets were really small now I have in the past been able to fit in a shower room a toilet and a sink but I thought because there were so many of them I'd use some of them as just toilet and sink areas others I would add more in and so in the end I just decided there was that many of them <laughs> I just didn't include any I probably should have done now in hindsight. Um, but yeah, we'll keep that one a little mystery and then, um, you know, you'll be able to have a proper look at them if you download the house. But this is actually the second reception room and ordinarily I would use this as maybe sort of a kid's family room, but I didn't do that this time. I just kept it literally as just a second reception room. Um, I have actually built this house with obviously a large family in mind and there are five bedrooms. So we've got like a master bedroom, we've got sort of a teen boys type room, a teen girls room, a kind of smaller girls room and a toddler bedroom. So there's lots of stuff to do upstairs, plenty of skill building items upstairs, but obviously if you wanted to bring more of that kind of family element downstairs, you know, activities and skill building items for kids, for an example, then, you know, you can, you're free to do that and there's plenty of room to do it too. So I'm just moving on to the master bedroom at the moment and I went for kind of like purplish and greyish tones and I must admit I'm starting to think that grey is one of my favourite colours because I seem to gravitate towards it quite a lot when I come to building The Sims. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like the master bedroom. I didn't go mad with putting loads of personality in the bedrooms, even though they are kind of personalised. There isn't loads and loads of clutter in each of the rooms because... I kind of feel like it's a bit pointless. I understand from a building perspective, um, especially if that's your style and you enjoy doing that, but I I probably think a little bit more from a downloading perspective. You know, if I was going to download a house, I'd rather not have loads of junk in it because I would rather build that junk up myself with my own family, if that makes sense. So I tend to kind of do my rooms as if they were like showrooms and sometimes I don't but this time I did <laughs> so this room is very pink indeed like very sickly pink this is definitely a girly girl type room um but this is probably like for an older teenage girl like I always do in each one of my builds especially when I do big family homes is I always do a room for each different you know kind of sims age so I'll do toddler bedrooms child rooms teen rooms just because you never know what kind of family is going to move into this home so I just wanted to say a massive thank you for all your lovely comments about my waffling <laughs> on my last video I must admit it's half past 11 at night now and it's a Monday evening and I am probably waffling away so I apologize for that but I hope you've all had a fantastic weekend mine was quite relaxing actually I went for a meal on Sunday with my husband and kids and that was really really nice but yeah I've just literally spent this evening editing and I've also been back to back watching Love Island series 3 which is the UK version I know before you you know throw your comments of hate <laughs> I absolutely love Love Island because I've got this kind of like it's my guilty pleasure. I kind of like a bit of car crash TV and Love Island's just been brilliant. So we've got like the whole season from last year on our ITV player and I've literally just been back to back watching them whilst I've been doing editing. So that's been lots of fun. 
<laughs> but yeah, no, I'm I'm quite excited for this week because obviously we've got the collaboration coming up, which is exciting. And I am currently in the process of planning some future collaborations as well. So I'm excited for those. So definitely keep a look out for them. But I'm just moving on to the second to last bedroom, which is a kind of girly, 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 girly room. <laughs> Yeah, there's lots of kind of pinks and light blues in this room. I would say a lot of the colours that I choose for the children's bedrooms, or I would say in all of the bedrooms, tend to revolve around the colour of the bed. And I think if there's ever kind of a colour scheme that I want to use that doesn't match a bed, I tend to use quite a neutral coloured bed, if that makes sense. That way I can decorate it however I like. So this particular room is based around obviously that really pretty bed that we got with Seasons, I think it was, that that one came with. Um, but yeah, the one thing I did love about the room sizes in this build is that the way I did the floor plan, they are a lot smaller and I find smaller bedrooms so much easier to do and a lot quicker to do as well. But yeah, this is the final bedroom which is a twin bedroom for boys. It's got like a boys bed and a toddler bed as well. But I hope you've enjoyed this video guys. If you have, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, it would be amazing to have you on board. But I hope you all have a fantastic week. And like I say, keep an eye out for my next video, which will be a special collaboration. Um, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, bye.